I was working on this body of work and it's still on a hard drive to this day, y'all. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I never put it out because right before I could, I was getting evicted. I was getting evicted. I was getting kicked out of a house I was living in with a baby. So I put everything on hold because I was so embarrassed. And that shame kept me from creating for a while, not that moment before a while. And if I could look back, I would, I would have encouraged myself to keep writing, to keep going for what, what was good. Because every time something you're trying to deposit something in the earth, you might get a little pushback. But that pushback makes you stronger. And I want y'all to keep pushing forward. Do not let life stop you from creating. I learned over time that those low moments would come, but in the future, I would use that energy and I would use that situation to create. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another moment with joy. I hope that you guys are doing well I hope you are having a beautiful Thursday wherever you are in the world, whatever time you're watching this broadcast that's coming to you. I'm just glad that you tuned in to get this love today because it's just for you. Before we get started into this beautiful episode about creatives, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're getting these notifications. Make sure you're getting this love every Tuesday and Thursday, okay? because I'm here for y'all. I'm Joy River, your host, certified life coach, and I was created just for you to help navigate and guide you through your healing journey to liberation and living in complete freedom, okay? And being the best version of yourself. So today, I hope that you are having your journals. Let me... Today, I need y'all to go ahead and pull out your journal. Go ahead and pull it out because today I need y'all to take notes. That's what these journals are for. Just go ahead and turn to the first page of your notebooks. And I need y'all to start writing the things that I'm going to say down because these are things that you need to tell yourself every day as a creative. If you're a creative, this episode is just for you. So, hey, you creative. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Because I'm getting a lot of creatives that need help navigating through this social media age of feeling like it's oversaturated, feeling like everybody doing what I'm doing, okay? And today, I just want to talk to the creatives, okay? This episode is about you, about us, about the life we live. And it's a beautiful one, y'all. Come on. It's a beautiful mixture <laughs> of bravery and nervousness. The highs are high and the lows are low, baby. And y'all know creatives, entrepreneurs, uh, people who create on their own, you know, from their talent, their natural talents and gifts. Y'all know that this life can be full of ups and downs when we branch out and do things on our own. Okay? And a creative, y'all, creatives live interesting lives. So be gentle with us, okay? It's full and it's beautiful. We get to do what we love, and that in itself is a blessing. So today, this episode, I want to encourage all the creators out there to keep making art, to keep expressing yourselves, and never give up on y'all's dreams. And I'm hoping that this episode gives you the push that you need to pick back up that paintbrush, to pick back up that pen, to finish writing that song, to finish writing that book. I hope that this episode keeps you going. Okay, so we're going to get into the facts about creatives. Okay, and the first fact that y'all got to remember creatives as a creative person, you have a special gift, okay, a unique talent that sets you apart from everyone else. Your creativity is your voice, your way of expressing your thoughts, your way of expressing your feelings and your emotions. Baby, your art matters, okay? It has the power to inspire, the power to heal and transform all the people around you, okay? We know that sometimes, y'all, it can be hard to keep creating and coming up with new things when you feel like your work is not getting rec recognized, you know, or getting the recognition it deserves because you put your hard-earned time and money into it. And the money isn't coming like we really, really want it to. 
And it's easy to get caught up in algorithms and the likes and the shares and all of the social media things that can make you, make you doubt yourself. And when we, when we start doubting ourselves, it makes us doubt our gifts and our skills and it starts, we start doubting our art, y'all. And we're not doing that today. So this, I want to remind you, this episode is to remind you that social media platforms and likes don't define who you are as a creative being, okay? Your art is not about pleasing others and conforming to external standards. It's about you being your true self, about you expressing what's in your heart and your soul, okay? Your voice is for the times and the culture we, we're in today, okay? And that voice, yes, your voice, yes, you, is needed now more than ever, okay? So I'm going to give you the five facts those encouraging words that you need to, to say to yourself and write them down and keep repeating them to remind you of how important you are as a creative and how important your art is, okay? So fact number one, you are unique. Put that down, I am unique. Write it down in your journal, I am unique. That's a fact. <laughs> it's so easy to compare and try to keep up with the trend, y'all. But your superpower is in your individuality. Come on, say that. My superpower is in my individuality. There is no one else in the world like you. Come on, let's say it. There is no one else in the world like me. Your perspectives, your experiences, your ideas, all of that makes your art special. Even the bad stuff, yes, those experiences, they make your art special and unique and embrace your uniqueness y'all that's what we're going to do put that down right up under there embrace my uniqueness and let it shine through your work let it shine through what you're doing and creating do not compare yourself to others because there is no comparison baby there's no comparison okay so remember who you are remember you are a unique being and there's no one else in the world like you and that's a fact okay so what we're going to we're going to embrace the fact that we are one and I'm the only one there's only one joy and nobody else in the world is like me and that's my superpower so put that down in your journal nobody else in the world is like me and that is my superpower okay and that's a fact so let's move on to the second fact your art has value put it down my art has value. Whatever it is that you create, you and, and art is just not paintings, y'all. Creatives create a lot of things. Pottery. I mean, whatever you create, put that down. My art has value. Your art has the power to touch people's lives, y'all, and uplift them and inspire them and to make them even think. Even if your work reaches a few people, it still has value because a lot of us Base our value off of how many people want it. No, your art matters and it's worth creating no matter what. No matter what, you, the world needs your creativity. Put that down, the world needs my creativity. In a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain, your creativity could be a beacon of hope and light to people. Yes, your creativity, the thing that you create could be a beacon of light and hope to people. Your art has the power, I told you, to uplift and transform people's minds and the way of their, their way of thinking to better, y'all. It's a precious gift. Do not let the pressure of social media, do not let the pressures of fear of not being good enough hold you back from sharing your gifts with the world. Your voice is needed now. Your voice is needed now more than ever, y'all. And I'm going to keep saying it throughout the episode. The world is, is in need of love and creativity. And, I, and artists, y'all are the people who keep record of where we are today in 2023. So we can look back when, when, our, when our children are born and the people that are coming after us, that next generation can see where we were, our stories, our gifts. You have the power to pin that, to paint that. That's why we still see Mona Lisa, y'all. Okay, so your, the world needs that. Your gift, your voice. 
okay? The benefits of you listening to that voice inside of you will blow your mind, okay? It'll blow your mind. So I need y'all to remember your voice and your art is valuable, and that is a fact, okay? Number three, fact number three, don't be afraid to take risks and reinvent yourself. Creatives, I love y'all. And as a creative person, you need to be willing to take risks, y'all. Do not be afraid to try new things, to experiment, to push the boundaries of your creativity. Sometimes the best art comes from us taking a chance and stepping out of our comfort zones. And me personally, I had to do this. In order to do what I'm doing right now, I had to step out of my comfort zone. I am used to singing, background, on stage, supporting the artist in my safety zone. Because I could do a good soprano for you. Ask me to lead and I might buckle down, okay? So that's what I'm used to, singing, not talking, baby. And look at me. Look at me now, y'all. And I wanted something different. That's how I got here. I wanted something different. I wanted to see the visions that I saw in my head in real time. I planned I aligned with what God showed me about me, and I jumped. I jumped. I trusted God fully when it came to me, when it came to my art, inspiration. I finally knew that that voice deep down inside would never steer me wrong. So I took a chance. I believed God, and I took a chance, okay? And I bet on me. Because you're not, know this, you're not one-dimensional. You're not a one-dimensional being. You have so many layers, so many gifts. Take the time to explore them and watch, y'all. You'll start to love them. And watch you. (laughs) These gifts, this art, that book, that song, it'll make room for you. And it'll take you further than you ever thought you'd go. So take the risk because I did and my life changed dramatically. I started seeing everything that I dreamed come to life to where my dreams had to get bigger because they were, I reached them. So take the risk. Get out your comfort zone and do the things, that dream that's in the back of your mind. Get out and do it. Everything is working out for your good. And that's a fact, okay? So take the risk. Reinvent yourself. Start new. And, and, and you can because you're creative. You were brought here to create. It's our naturally given right to create. Okay? So take the risk, creative. Do the thing that you've been wanting to do because everything is working out for you. You can't fail. Hear from me. You cannot. And that's a fact. Okay? Next fact for my creatives. Your voice is important. Your voice is unique and it deserves to be heard. Start taking your gifts and your skills seriously. You need to study. Yep, research. Dig in. And I know all most of these gifts as creatives, I'm one of them, naturally we're given these gifts and we could do things that most people can't do. Make something out of nothing, okay? But I want y'all to start studying and researching and digging into your craft. Keep learning more about your skills. This allows you to always speak your truth Express your opinions and share your experiences confidently. You know what you're talking about, okay? Your voice is important, and it can make a difference on the earth, okay? That's how special you are. Your art is a reflection of your soul and your voice. Come on, put that down. Your art, my art, put that down in your journal. My art is a reflection of my soul and my voice. Hey, y'all, I got a special announcement journals I got journals I know y'all ain't excited as me but y'all know y'all just as excited as me because you get to start your spiritual journaling practice today with these beautiful journals and these were curated with love for the spiritual seeker in you and as a life coach y'all I believe that journaling is one of the most powerful tools for personal growth and transformation 
My journals are designed to help you deepen your connection with your inner self and with the divine, to explore your spirituality, to align your life with the highest purpose. That's what these journals are gonna do, okay? Each journal is infused with positive affirmations, inspirational quotes by me, Joy River, and two thought-provoking journal prompts to help you tap into your intuition and unlock your inner wisdom. Okay, so whether you're looking to deepen your spiritual practice, cultivate gratitude, or simply just connect with your higher self, my journals are perfect for that. Okay, and you're going to have two journal prompts that will lead you and guide you in the way of writing. Okay, and the rest of the book is just for you. It's just for you to write your thoughts however you feel them, whenever you feel them. It's a safe place just for you. Okay, this is a perfect companion for your spiritual journey. Why not start today? Go to Amazon right now. You can get this book right now on Amazon, okay? The link is in the bio. You can go to my website and get the link as well. Or you can go over to YouTube at The Couch With Joy and Friends and find the link in every description of the YouTubes and the episodes, okay? So go get your journal today. And all my close friends, y'all already know this face. This is Mary Elise. She did the journal cover for this book. And I could not be more grateful than my, to my best friend for letting me put her painting her artwork her stamp on my journal that's what i mean it's lit y'all go get the journal and i promise you you're gonna read the quotes that are on the inside you're gonna love it okay get your journal today thank you peace what does that mean joy when you create you are putting a huge piece of yourself into the world that is a deposit that is a seed that will flourish for you no matter how many people get it Get it out your body and put it into the earth and watch it do what it's supposed to do. You are putting a piece of yourself into the world. Your art is a reflection of you, baby. Okay? It's a reflection of your experiences, your emotions, and your unique perspective. This is not about algorithms. This is not about likes. This is not about shares. It's about expressing yourself in a way that feels authentic to who you really are. Don't be afraid to be open and vulnerable and share your heart with others through your art. So remember, your voice is important. And that's a fact. Put it down. My voice is important. And that is a fact. Okay? Do not be swayed by the things that you hear and see on Instagram and all these social media and even your people that are around you that might be deterring you from what you really, really want. Your voice is important and it matters. And that's a fact. <laughs> I love that. What is the next fact for my creatives? To keep creating. Y'all got to keep creating no matter what. I want to remind you to keep creating. Don't let setbacks, failures, disappointments stop you from pursuing your passion. When life starts life in, it get real hard. To stay motivated and inspired, I understand. I remember a time when I was going to the studio over and over again, working on an album for me, y'all. And I was excited to put this body of work out. Like I was super, super excited. And it sounded great. I had all my little friend, my little friend, my big friend producers, let me stop saying. my. I had all my producer friends give me tracks and I was writing, we were recording and I have the best engineer in America, in the world actually, on earth actually. The Prince of Engineers. Prince is the best engineer ever. Okay, anyway, I was working on this body of work and it's still on a hard drive to this day, y'all. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I never put it out because right before I could, I was getting evicted. I was getting evicted. I was getting kicked out of a house I was living in with a baby. So I put everything on hold because I was so embarrassed. And that shame kept me from creating for a while. Not that moment, but for a while. And if I could look back, I would, I would have encouraged myself to keep writing, to keep going for what, what was good. Because every time something you're trying to deposit something in the earth, you might get a little pushback. But that pushback makes you stronger. And I want y'all to keep pushing forward. Do not let life stop you from creating. I learned over time that those low moments would come, but in the future, I would use that energy and I would use that situation to create. 
how the old people used to say, you give me lemons, I'm going to make lemonade. And a lot of people call that black trauma, but it's not. It's, it's, it speaks to the strength of who we are by making something out of nothing. So use that energy and use that situation to create. And I'm not saying ignore it. I'm saying sit in it, feel it, and think about how you feel and write us something beautiful. Paint us something beautiful. Because there's always beauty in that pain. I care what you say. It's something to be grateful for. So use that energy and use that situation to create something amazing. Some of my best songs came from me going in the booth sad, going in the booth heartbroken, and letting it out in that way. Even if you cry on the track, cry, girl, cry. So I'm here to say, keep picking up that paintbrush. Keep writing that song. Keep making the candles. Keep posting those pictures. No matter if you got a good camera or not, keep doing you. Okay, boop? Keep doing you. Your creativity is your world, and it's worth exploring, and it's worth sharing with others. The cure to dis-ease is creativity. Dive into it. And remember, keep creating, and that is a fact baby. So in conclusion, y'all, I want to encourage you to keep making art because I have a lot of friends and people who have stopped doing things that they do perfectly because of financial reasons. Because somebody said, what you doing that for? Because social media ain't really liking that stuff. They can't get, they can't go viral. Those things have become more important than the voice that's deep inside of you telling you, this is what I gave you to deposit in this earth. Do it. And it will make room for you. Trust God saying, come out on the water. Walk with me. Trust him and, and go out. Jump out that boat. Okay? So I want to encourage you to do everything that you put down. Breathe life back into those things. Keep expressing yourself. Keep sharing your unique, beautiful voice with the world. Your creativity is a gift and it is a blessing, and it is a healing force, and it is needed now more than ever. Say my gift is needed now more than ever, even if your gift is just to love. If you can create a loving environment for people to come, then do it. Whatever your healing force is, do it. So go ahead, be free, y'all, to create and make this world a more beautiful place, okay? So I pray that this episode, y'all, I hope this episode helped all my creators understand that you are unique. You are needed. There is no oversaturation in God. There's room all the time when it comes to you. You can't fail and everything is working out for you in real time. Okay, so I want to see the book. I want to hear the song. I want to see the painting. I want you to be proud of what you create and put it out confidently. Okay, so I hope that this was healing and comfort for you to know as a creative, I got this. I'm all the things, everything. Okay, be confident, be love. Okay, peace. I hope to see you next time on A Moment With Joy.